Hello, my name is Parm King and I'm a historical fiction fantasy author. I write this series called Destiny's War. It's a historical fiction. It takes place during World War I. If you like Indiana Jones, Lawrence of Arabia, and a sprinkling of Dan Brown, pick it up. It's available on Amazon. It's also in audio format, and I'll put links down in the bottom. I'm also a game designer, currently designing a role-playing game called Destiny RPG. And I'm a dungeon master, leading a group of players across the lands of Barovia through the Curse of Strahd campaign. How did I become a dungeon master, and how did I get involved with Dungeons and Dragons? Well, that happened some decades ago when I was in high school. A friend of mine named Ben invited me to the library to play a new game. He had a red box with some interesting dice in it in which we had to take a white crayon and color in the numbers and wipe off the access. It was a role-playing game called Dungeons and & Dragons, and throughout my youth, it changed my life. I played all kinds of campaigns, including Ravenloft, Tombs of Horror, Keep of the Borderlands, and came up with my own adventures and became a dungeon master. It was an amazing experience. Unfortunately, as we grow up and our friends move away after we graduate from high school, I stopped playing Dungeons and Dragons until recently. In January of this year, when the, the uh, crisis began to happen, with the virus and lockdowns began to happen, I was stuck in a foreign city and didn't know anybody and remembered those times when I was playing Dungeons and Dragons with my friend Ben. So I decided to look up on the internet and to my surprise and amazement, there was a renaissance of Dungeons and Dragons happening. Shows like Critical Roles with voice actors actually playing Dungeons and Dragons online. I had to jump in and learn as much as I can about this great role playing game that I had once played in high school. I logged into D&D Beyond and downloaded D&D Beyond, the player's handbook and the Dungeon Master's Guide, and I just started delving into it. But how was, was I going to play? I, I didn't know anybody locally to play, and we were in a lockdown, and that's when I discovered virtual tabletop systems. There's some great ones out there like Roll20 and Fantasy Grounds. And then I discovered Foundry, a new system that opens up unlimited possibilities and you're only limited to your creative imagination. Dozens of people are making mods for it to increase the experience and add dynamic, interesting effects to the game. The further I dove into Foundry, the further down the rabbit hole I went and discovered all these amazing things to do. Then I wanted to Dungeon Master again. I couldn't help myself. I purchased Curse of Strahd, which is the more modern version of Ravenloft that I had played back so long ago before there were even version numbers for Dungeons and Dragons. I had missed version two and version 3.5 and version four, and now I'm in version 5e. And I discovered all these amazing things I could do with Foundry, and so I really had a fun time coming up with new ideas, like the theater of the mind map, for instance, or creating these exciting nested uh, uh, day encounter tables. So I decided to start making some videos and sharing some of the things that I learned about Foundry with all of you. In the meantime, I'm continuing to work on my Destiny RPG game system. Destiny RPG is more of an old school renaissance game, more like the old Dungeons and Dragons, the basic or the expert set, but with a unique twist on it. I incorporated what I call an elegant solution, an elegant solution we see sometimes in the philosophy of science or mathematics, where you're taking complexity, efficiency, and effectiveness and mixing it down to a general simple solution in which you don't need any more variables. I hope to have that game released here by the end of the year, and I certainly will be porting it over into the Foundry system because I'll be really excited to play my Destiny RPG as a Dungeon Master in another Dungeons & Dragons campaign. Please subscribe to my channel, explore the videos that I've made, feel free to ask me any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And may all your rolls be critical 20s. But if you roll a critical one, think about rolling on one of those critical failure tables. Now, I know some of you hate those things, and you don't have to actually physically punish your character or make him drop his weapon, but you can create an entire table of jokes to tease him. Maybe he just soiled himself and got a little afraid during the fight. Come on, make a little fun of them because they rolled a one. You got to rib your, your buddies every now and then, right? Until later, this is Parm King signing off. Enjoy yourself. Explore my channel. Please subscribe. Thank you very much.